Oh, so, dudes, um, you know, sorry about the shower. I think whoever's running this place is gonna lose the, um, security deposit. Uh, but anyway, so something that I noticed during one of my streams is somebody wanted to know what a bolo peak was. A B-O-L-O -O peak. Like a bolo tie. So a bolo peak is when you put on a bolo tie, and then you go to Texas, and then you peek into the steakhouse- No, that's not- that's not it. A bolo peak, more commonly a quick peak, that's- bolo popularized it. Quick peak, for intel, is just a basic siege maneuver where you use the lean keys to see if somebody is in a position that you suspect is there. And then, sometimes, if you're confident enough with your aim, you can see them for intel and then... So why the frick would you want to do this? Why would you want to taint my tactical shooter, Greg, with your eSports bullshit? Well, because it's a competitive shooter. Sorry, number one. Number two, it's safer than a conventional face check, right? Because it's behind cover. Sometimes it makes, it makes sense to hold an angle. When you hold an angle, you're holding an aggressive angle. You're waiting for somebody to come in, boom. That's great. If, if, they don't know where you are most of the time. A lot of the time, you're gonna have to play it by ear. But for the most part, you want to hold angles in situations where you have a crossfire or the enemy does not have intel on you. If you suspect that somebody is in a spot and you need to make an aggressive play, take a gunfight, you can do this. And then that reveals if somebody is, for instance, holding an angle on this window without you going, hi, oh, I'm dead. Right? So there's a specific motion to it, because if you don't do it right, if you do it like this... That's bad. That's bad. Why is that bad? It's bad because it's not safe. You can get shot in the shoulder. Right? Now sometimes this is like a weird thing called like a Shaco peak. I'm not gonna bother you with that right now. But for the most part, you don't want to do this, because you can get shot in the side of the head or in the shoulder. And that's not good, obviously. So the idea is to go strafe back and forth between the pieces of cover, like that. And then also use the shoulder to make it more advantageous for you, so you have the most amount of cover as possible while you are doing it. And it helps you get a kill, potentially. So, here's the actual key movement. It is E and D to go out, and then E and A to go back in. E D E A. E D E A. E D E A. It's a fluid motion. You do the whole thing in one go. E D E A. E D E A. E A sports. Okay? The other way around, it's the same thing, but it's done with the Q key, and the strafing is reversed. You do Q and A, Q and D. Q and A, Q and D. Q A. QD. QA? QD. That's it. See, it wasn't that hard. For people who have their, uh, their lean on toggle, I don't know how the hell those people do it, I have to do finger yoga. If I did the exact same motion, when I have my, uh, my keys set that way, it's like... It, it, fuck, I, I, don't, I don't know how you guys do that, I, I really have no idea. Um, but there's a specifically different motion when you're when you're leaning. But this is why I prefer to have him on toggle. Okay, I hope you learned something. Uh, if this video raises your IQ, give it a like. Go out there, do the quick the bolo anime prof pick. Go, go, go ham.